Hello, we're back for more Hogwarts Legacy. As usual, we are getting real close to the end. Doing my best to get all the side quest stuff done. We actually did a solid chunk last episode. Like we finished the Dedalian keys and we finished the Demi guys ones. I know we have, oh, okay, yeah, two of the other ones. I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna end up just looking up where these two are, but for now, I'm just going to continue using a little bit of my time to go and solve some more of what's going on in the world, okay? So, I think to start, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get the flu flame. We're going to get the field guide page, work our way around this area. If anything exciting happens, I will let you know as usual. But until then, I will see you when I'm done. Hello. Do you have anything for sale? Hello. It's not often I see Hogwarts students here during school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of traveling necessities. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just talked to this girl because I wanted to sell stuff. Who is this? Are you related to Nora Treadwell? Why, yes, she's my wife. Brilliant historian. Did you know that she's pursuing Merlin's life's work? I actually met her, and she introduced me to her work. I'm involved in it now as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Then you must be rather brilliant as well. At any rate, I hope that you'll think of me whenever you find yourself in need of traveling supplies. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Okay, I don't know why I did that, but cool. Lumos. Interesting way to hide some treasure. What on earth? Okay, that was some side quest, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys here. I'm starting to think it is a bit of an, um, big quest to try and get all of this stuff done. Like, don't get me wrong, guys. I have basically cleared out this entire space over here. Like, I haven't really made it up this far yet. But I've gotten, it looks like all of the Merlin trials done. Okay, so I literally almost have the Feldcroft region done. Um, if you look to the side over there. However, there is so dang much left. Like, I've barely come up here. I've I've barely gone hardly anywhere. I'm going to be completely real here. So, I... <laughs> I truly don't know if it's worth it at this point. You guys can let me know. But we got the well one done. I, I haven't looked into this one. But... I'm thinking we go back to Hogwarts, we go and talk to them about what we know, and then we'll figure it out. <sighs> I'll try and get a game plan of what we really need to do here, okay? Okay, let's go talk to these people. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the Keepers that Renrock knows where the last repository is. This feels weird. Why are we saying this right now? Like, why can't we- Okay, he is in here. Who? Oh. I'm like, if something happened to Fig, y'all- According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. Hi. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Okay. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bradball's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok... Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Well... Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bradball's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Huh? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. I... Oh my god, do I say it? I feel like I have to. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories for someone to find? You know what she did? Her yeah. memory showed what she did for her father, which I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, 
I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. <laughs> the next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Oh. Find a face of stone and tendril. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. Oh. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. Oh, boy. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. I imagine after all this, Fig's actually bad. <laughs> okay, I could have thought that we were going to meet Poppy at some point. Like, we got the Moonstone, so what happened to meeting with the Centaurs? Like, I, uh, did we already do that? Did I just f somehow forget about that? Whoa, we got to go all the way down here for this. Okay, I'm a wee bit nervous about this next quest. So, I got all of my Wigan World potions fully up. Something that I have been neglecting is I have not been focusing on the beast at all. So, I think this is the one that we had the Thestrals in. Haha, <laughs> oh yes, the baby! Oh, they came up to me. Okay, we're gonna take care of our children. Yay! Just because I started neglecting them and I feel bad so <laughs> hello I also while I was working on some of my extra side quests I went around and collected some other beasts so we are gonna I don't think I got any Thestrals so I shouldn't oh my god they're next to each other I, wa uh, I don't remember where I put each of them. I also, at this point, don't even remember what- oh my goodness. Apparently, they really needed this. I also don't remember how many places I have for them anyways. Oh, zoomies. So... I have a hippogriff, but I don't feel like the hippogriff- Oh my god, wait, I could put the- uh, wait, this one. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah! Adding that one. I feel like the moon calves make, make sense to be in here. I don't, I don't really know if the toad does, but I'm gonna put it in here anyways. Hi guys. They are so stinking cute. <gasps> Look at them. And then you too. You get snack. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I don't really know what I needed from that, but now they're in there, so hopefully they're living happy. Um, oh, 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 oh. I think... In here... Oh, I feel like the unicorn makes sense in here. What do I even... Hello? Oh! I have a journal. Let me... Make your hair all pretty, too. <laughs> I have 
I've never actually paid attention to the animation, but that is funny. Okay, now you get snack. Nom nom. Okay, who else? Oh, oh, I have a moon coffin here. That doesn't make sense. You only come out at night. I kind of want to put him with all the other ones. Let's do that, actually. Here, you eat your snack, and then I'm gonna snatch you up. Good. Okay, get in here. Yoink. Okay. Yourself. I mean you now. Um, let's... No, I don't want High Wing in there. Um, you... You... Ah! Species limit. What? Can I find another place from the unicorn? Whatever, okay. Okay. Snack. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, sweet. Now, how do I... I think it's this one. Outdoor. Ah. <gasps> oh. Okay, well... Let's put this right here. Okay, great. Fabulous. And then, can I... Oh. Okay, well, we're breeding this one. I was gonna breed the dang... The hippogriff, you are pretty. Oh my god, look at them fly! Okay. I don't know if High Wing would make it so they can breed, but we'll, we'll get to that eventually. Maybe. <laughs> and then let's put the Moon Calf with his friends. Get in there. Can I put the Niffler in here too? Is that dumb? <laughs> Kinda wonder if I'm gonna lose a Niffler then, but I don't know. The Irondale Pilferer. I totally forgot about some of these quests we did. Some of these things were so weird. Okay, there's that. I could have sworn we had another place for beasts. Oh, up here! Can I put the unicorn in here then? Oh, this isn't giving unicorn to me. <gasps> oh my god. You're all alone in here? What? Maybe I should go grab the birds and put them all in here. I mean, I guess the unicorn does just hang out in the forest, so... We'll, we'll go ahead and put them in here. Hi, do you like it here? Are you kind of happy? They go... Okay, that was really really fun. Um, I feel bad. <laughs> well, now that our animals are no longer starving... I... Should we just go? Maybe we just go meet Professor Fig. I feel like in the beginning of playing this, I did a really good job of like, oh, I'd run places and I'd find extra stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then once I started getting more flu flames unlocked, I did not do as good of a job. <laughs> 
And I just would like teleport everywhere so you wouldn't run into the extra stuff. And then when I would run, I would just be like, meh, I'll get it later. So now I'm super, super, super behind. But I'm just having such a hard time deciding if it's actually worth it to try and do. Oh my god, I can't even get over there from here. That, okay. I don't know if it's even worth it for me to try and do all the side stuff, or if it's- I'm better off just finishing the dang game. <laughs> oh, guys, I found a side quest. Hold on. I also have never been here before. Hi! Hold on, let me go get this flu flame first. My poor boy. Oh no. Bainbra is one of my favorite hamlets in the area. I'm nervous for this one. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. Oh. He's my pet Niffler. Oh no. I always am chasing after animals. I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. He's lovely company. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse. Filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. Wait. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. Hold on. Isn't Henrietta one of the other side quests we found? And I couldn't find it because it was just a map. Why did Henrietta feel the need to protect her house like she did? Henrietta was a baroness who married well, more than a few times. Her immense wealth drove her to a life of suspicion and isolation. The more wealth she amassed, the more paranoid she became of losing it. Hence the terrifying traps throughout the hideaway. Not even her family has been willing to deal with them to get to her fortune. Why don't you just get Rococo back yourself? Henrietta's hideaway is treacherous enough, but add Ashwinders into the picture and, well... I love Rococo, but I love staying alive more. <laughs> I I mean, I can't blame her. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. Oh. She certainly won't mind now. Mm -hmm. I should be going now. Thank you. Okay, well taking a pause on the side quest then because i am almost or pause on the main quest i feel like that's what it was yes use henrietta's map to find the treasure <gasps> oh my god is this gonna be how i find it no way guys hideaway does sound intriguing perhaps i should investigate for rococo's sake no i'm investigating for my sake are you kidding oh guys i found notes A letter from Harriet to Lone. Dear Lone, oh, I hope that's right. I hope you are well, dear brother. It's good to receive your last letter and hear news of your family, especially your clever wife. Liana's last experiments in potion making sound fascinating, to say the least. I have never heard of using liquid mercury in a perpetual cloud potion before. I will say, however, that the billows of vapor you described wafting through the house seem worrisome. Is Liana sure that her work is safe? Oh, listen to me going on. I was never the... I was never the one good at potions, was I? I miss you all dearly and look forward to our summer holiday by the sea with love, Harriet. Okay. My delirious Harriet. Lovely to receive your letter. Lovely. Lovely to receive your letter. Lovely letter. Just lovely. The house is a bit of a mess at the moment. Why are the walls moving? The children see it too. Leanne and I have decided that we must all stay in the cellar for now because of the clouds in the foyer. She says we, she should, oh my God. She says she would write to you, but can't seem to hold a quill. Did I mention that your letter was lovely? If I can find Archimedes, I will send him on his way with this letter. Been ages since I've seen the old owl, but we cannot seem to rid ourselves of the large snowy bat squawking about the place. Odd. Where are my shoes? Oh boy. Is this her? Uh, oh goodness gracious. Okay, okay then. Just gonna go away from that. A diary entry. 
It has been a fortnight since Rookwood banished me to this cursed manor to act as a lookout. I am inclined to think this is a punishment of some sort. Why else would he send me to watch over this tedious hamlet with only the company of the dead? Since I've arrived, I've been unable to clear the eerie mist that pervades the room of this overgrown shack. The worst part of the place is the cellar, filled with corpses. They've been sealed in here for at least a year, preserved somehow. How they died, I do not know, but the longer I spend in this place, the stranger I feel. My thoughts are becoming addled. More than once, I have considered using dark magic to raise the bodies in the cellar, for company or for sport. Perhaps I shall retire now to think it over. Perhaps I won't be alone for much longer. Oh, is this about the people who were hiding in the cellar? Oh. <laughs> Suckers. That, as bad as it sounds, that's one of my favorite spells now. This must be the castle where Miss Coffee's Niffler ran away. Hmm. Now, to find a way inside. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I hope the Ashwinders haven't done anything with Rococo. Rococo. Where in Merlin's name am I? I don't know. What am I? Oh, it's right there. I'm just. Oh. Incendio. Ah ha ha. Okay, so is this also going to do the other side quest? I should follow the treasure to find that nephew. Oh Ash boy, Winters. jeez. X. Should have expected company. Yeah, probably. <gasps> Sick. Oh. I did it. Killed it. So do I just have to light all of these? Did that do something? I'd better watch my step here. What do you mean? <gasps> oh. Um, okay, what do I do now? Oh, <laughs> Revenia. wait, how do I get out, guys? Oh, okay, whoo, I got out. Why, why is this place turning me all around? Like, I brain is not braining. Treasure. Oh. Goodness gracious. So do I need to like... <sighs> nope. Nope. Definitely not that. Nope. That's not it either. <laughs> do I need to... Is that it? Nope. Okay, what are those for then? What? I'm so confused. Hey. hey. Rebellion. 
Okay, so my recording decided to be a little wonky, but we made it through here. Literally nothing exciting happened. It was probably the most tedious quest I have ever done. We got the dang Niffler, and we somehow managed to find another dang map that I have to figure out where to go to, so that's super exciting. Okay, a little update for you guys. Managed to finish that hippogriff marks the spot thing. Literally all I got was a pair of gloves and 400 gold. I do not feel like that quest is worth it, but hey, again, nothing exciting happened. Um, honestly, we're going to end it here. <laughs> I have managed to find myself multiple side quests within that one. So we're going to return Rococo next episode. I also got ourselves right here. It's where we can do another one that I also finished while, man while I started while managing to try and finish another one. So I don't honestly know what was going on. Okay. Then once we do those... We will go and try and do the main quest where we meet with Fig again. We'll see how it goes next episode, but I feel like I did a lot. It's It was a lot of tedious work. Something I'm thinking of doing is potentially just playing this on my own without recording and just doing the little stuff like finishing the astronomy tables and getting the hidden chests or um, the Merlin trials. Stuff that doesn't need to be in a video, you know? I'm either going to do that or I might start streaming it. I don't know. I won't guarantee that, but we shall see. So anyways, if you don't think it's worth it for me to be doing this side stuff, please let me know because I am honestly at this point more than willing to let it go because it it took up three hours of my life today, guys. Three hours. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I feel like I did enough. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, again, any tips, please let me know, but we're going to leave it here. I will see you all next week for more Hogwarts Legacy. Bye!